Hey everyone, it's Tally. I'm coming to you from my dorm room at Agnes Scott College in Decatur, Georgia, and you're watching Five Girls for Five Minutes for Five Girls for Five Minutes and don't edit. So yeah, welcome to Five Girls Five Minutes for Five Girls Talk for Five Minutes and don't edit the videos. It is Wednesday. I'm Tally, and I kind of effed up playing that theme song, but I don't want to do it again. Um, so anyway, so it's Wednesday. I am Tally, and I have a lot of stuff to do, um, but I don't think I have a whole lot to talk about. So I'm going to talk about the stuff that I have to do. Um, I finished my one act play that I had to write, the 35 page one act play, the first draft. There's lots of drafts to do. So I got that checked off, but I have to work on three term papers, which are not fun. And I have to do a reader response journal for one of my history classes, which I don't feel like doing. And I have to do a shit ton of reading for one of my, my term paper in my English class, um, which I'm not looking forward to doing. And I have to, what else do I have to do? I have to fill out an application for something, and then I have to email that application to someone at Agnes, and then I have to email someone else about a recommendation, which I don't feel like doing. I also have to write at least 1,667 words worth of my novel today, um, which I don't feel like doing. Um, I'm at 27,000 words exactly. Um, I'm kind of in this state of like, I don't know, I'm just in this like really weird mental state with my novel at this point. I think it's because, like I usually get like this about the halfway point. And since, and even though it's um, the 10th, <laughs> I had to check, um, and even though it's the 10th, I am still in that weird state and it's kind of like, it, because, it, because it's the, um, because it is the 10th, I am in that, but I'm still for it so far ahead, I'm in that state of like, I'm at this point in my novel and I'm just kind of like blurg. Um, but I'm, I'm doing it. Like last night I cranked out my 1667 in about an hour, um, pre like um, at, after about 10 o'clock, um, after I watched Glee, which I can talk about Glee. I should talk about Glee. Um, Glee was actually not bad last night. Um, I actually really liked it. I mean, I thought Will was a little misguided in some of the shit that he did. But other than that, there were only four songs. There were only four songs in an episode of Glee, and it was fabulous because then there was plot and awesomeness and double dates at Breadsticks, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna... I also managed to catch like the first two minutes of Raising Hope that was on after it and Kate Micucci was on, so now I'm catching up on Raising Hope. I've watched the first five episodes already, or I'm in episode five, so I'll be caught up on that before I do any of the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, okay, so, um... Sarah asked Tara, like, something that she's been, like, obsessed with for a really long time. Um, like, it's, like, how Sarah's been into Conan. And I think for me, when I was, when I was younger, it was books. Like, I read a lot. I don't read a lot anymore. But what happened, what happened was, um, I got into Harry Potter. And then from Harry Potter, I got into fandom. And I really think kind of my long-time obsession is not so much TV or movies or books or music. It's fandom. I like the I like the camaraderie of fandom. I like just the whole experience of fandom. And I switch fandoms a lot. Like I have a lot of fandoms, but I and you know, it started with Harry Potter and I still read Harry Potter fan fiction, but I'm not really in the Harry Potter fandom. And I mean, so I think that's kind of like my long-time obsession. Um and then Tara asked me if I could get give up one scent, uh one of my senses, what would it be? Um that's a hard one. Like, I'm a very picky eater, so I guess one of the logical choices would be to give up taste so that I would eat a bunch of things, but I think a lot of my picky eaterness comes from um, textures, so I don't think it would count. So I think I'd probably give up smells, because I'm not someone who has, like, a bunch of, like, sentimental memories associated with smell, and I'm not someone who needs to, like, you know, I don't like perfumes and fancy smelling lotions, like, it doesn't bother me. And I think that would affect my sense of taste a little bit, but I don't think it, it but I think that would be what I gave up. Um, okay, um, and then I had asked Itzel about prom, um, I went to my junior and senior prom, uh, I went to prom junior and senior year, and you had to be a junior or a senior to go to prom. Um, my junior year I just went with a group of friends, and my senior year I went with Andy. Um, it was fun, I mean, it was like the typical prom experience, we went out to eat, and we went back to my house afterwards and watched School of Rock and blogged, so I guess maybe that's not a typical prom experience. Um, 
but I had killer dresses my senior year. I looked freaking hot. I'm not even going to lie. I was kind of awesome. Um, okay, and so my question for Eat Sal is how tall are you? And I actually want all of the girls to answer this. I'm really curious. Um, I am a bad hair shy. Eh, I like to say I'm a bad hair day shy of 5'2". Because I'm almost there. And if my hair is just a little poofy, I am there. So anyway, um, uh, Eat Sal, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. And everyone else, I will see you next Wednesday.